dear friends now here we are going to discuss the next variety of problem on carburetor dimension that is problem number 4 so with the help of the notes part we can understand the another problem so here we have the statement of the problem the following data related to a petrol engine yes there is one petrol engine and the related data is given in this particular problem the different data is here petrol consumed per hour is equal to 7.2 kg specific gravity of fuel is equal to 0.75 temperature of air is equal to 27 degree celsius air fuel ratio is equal to 1h to 15 diameter of choke tube is equal to 24 mm height of top of a jet above is equal to 4.2 mm this is the height of the top of the jet above the petrol level and that is given 4.2 mm coefficient of discharge for air it is equal to 0.8 then the coefficient of discharge of fuel that is c sub is df that is given 0.7 the atmospheric pressure is also given in the problem and that value is 1.013 bar so with the help of this particular data we have to calculate the diameter of the fuel jet of a simple carburetor and considering neglecting the effect of compressibility of air so as usual dear friends you have to read the problem thoroughly and try to understand the different things which are given in the problem and how this problem is different than the earlier problems which we already discussed okay so though the data is too much or the length of the problem is uh, too much but again it is too much simple to get the solution okay so don't worry so what is given in the problem different things are given the first one petrol consumed per hour that is equal to 7.2 kg so one by one uh, we will write the given data so in this case the petrol consumed per hour is nothing but its unit is kg that's why it is nothing but the mass of fuel because the mass is always in kg and m suffix f that is mass of fuel is given in the problem and that would 7.2 kg similarly here the specific gravity is given 0.75 so from the specific gravity as we already discussed from the specific gravity we can calculate the density of fuel so just multiply with 1000 to this particular specific gravity so we can get 750 kg per meter cube that is density of fuel rho sub x f so the temperature is given t1 so the temperature of air this is the initial temperature that's why we mentioned t1 that is 27 degree celsius so convert it into the degree kelvin so plus 273 so this is the standard value of uh, the kelvin so 27 plus 273 that will come 300 kelvin so the air fuel ratio is also given so in this case the ratio of air to fuel or air fuel ratio sometime it can give 15 as to 1 or for creating the confusion the ratio will give or it will provide in the problem that is like this one so 1 as to 15 so you have to understand this 15 is nothing but the amount of air and 1 is nothing but the amount of fuel so accordingly you have to write the air fuel ratio the correct air fuel ratio in this problem that is 15 as to 1 this is the value of uh, air and this is the value of fuel similarly the diameter of choke tube means in this case this is to be considered the throat diameter and that is equal to small d2 uh, that is given 24 mm so please remember uh, whenever the problems like this one you have to solve or you have to use or you have to adopt the methodology whatever we are discussing now to get the solution okay so this d2 is equal to 24 mm and convert it into meter that is 0.024 meter similarly the next thing is given in the problem height of the jet above the petrol level so as we already discussed always the jet is uh, above than that particular level of the fuel inside the float chamber and that h is given or the z sometime we can consider h small letter h or sometime we can consider the letter z and that is given 4.2 mm so write down this one also 
so in this case here we have considered z the z value is uh, 4.2 and convert 4.2 mm and convert it into meter that's why that value term 0.0042 meter so similarly coefficient of discharge of air is given 0.8 coefficient of discharge of fuel that is 0.7 which is written over here this is 0.8 and this is 0.7 and finally the atmospheric pressure is 1.013 bar convert this bar into newton per meter square by multiplying the given value of pressure to 10 raised to 5 okay so this is the standard value of bar itself bar bar conversion into newton per meter square so the next thing is what to get the solution now with the help of all these given data we have to calculate the diameter of the fuel jet of simple carburetor means we have to calculate that particular nozzle diameter through which the amount of fuel will come out we can see diameter of fuel jet and again here there is no need to identify the methodology to which methodology we can solve this problem because in the problem it is already mentioned we have to consider the neglecting the effect of compressibility of air derivation okay so directly we have to use this particular derivation itself to get the answer of this particular problem so the first step in this kind of a problem in this case the density of air is not given okay density of fuel is given okay rho f is uh, we have calculated from that particular specific gravity that is 0 0.75 but uh, the density of air is not given so initially we have to find out so we have the standard formula again t1 v1 is equal to mr t1 so again we can rearrange this particular formula like this if m is unit mass and that is equal to 1 so this t1 divided by rt1 like this and this r is a universal gas constant t is a temperature p is a pressure and this is that particular specific volume itself so we can write the equation p1 by r into t1 is equal to this uh, v1 which is present over here when it comes over here this m by v1 m is nothing but one so one by v1 we can write so the next thing is what we know the density is nothing but mass per unit volume so the general formula of density is what mass per unit volume so if the m is unit mass that is equal to 1 so that we can write density is equal to 1 by v and that is nothing but specific volume okay 1 by v that is nothing but specific volume we can say so put that particular thing 1 by v which is again present over e 1 by v so this is the 1 by v replace that 1 by v to the rho itself okay so the density of air we can uh, put over here that is p1 by rt1 okay instead of 1 by v1 we can write the density that is rho air that is nothing but density of air so replace that 1 by v1 over here by the rho and we can write the equation p1 rt p1 by rt1 is equal to rho of air that is density of air so finally we can put the values uh, which is given in the problem the pressure is given 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 uh, divided by this r that is a universal gas constant the standard value is 0 0.287 and its formula its unit is kilojoule per kg kelvin so kilo instead of kilo we are directly writing 1000 kilo means 1000 grams so 0 0.287 into multiplied by 1000 and temperature is uh, we have calculated at 27 plus uh, 273 that is nothing but in kelvin so that is uh, 300 so this way we just put the values of pressure universal gas constant r and temperature t1 and we can calculate uh, the answer of density of air and that will come 1.176 kg per meter cube please check this particular values in your calculator itself okay so uh, the next thing is what the next step uh, we have to use uh, mass of air because we are directly using this formula because uh, it mentioned in the problem we have to use the neglecting the effect of compressibility of air we have to consider this one case so we directly use this formula of mass of air from that derivation coefficient of discharge of air it is given in the problem then that's why we have to write over here it's a coefficient so multiply by a2 into under root of 2 rho a into delta ta 
So again, we know uh, in this case mass of air to mass of fuel, which is given in the problem. So 15 h to 1. So mass of air is 15 and mass of fuel is 1 because air fuel ratio is given that is 15 h to 1. So we can again simplify the things. If uh, mf value is already given in the problem, so we can get the value of m suffix a. So put the value of mf in this equation because mass of fuel is already given in the problem that is 7.2 kg. Put that value in this equation and get the mass of air that is equal to 0 0.03 and its unit is kg per second. Okay. So why we have divided it uh, by 3600 because we have to get the answer in kg per second. So there is a need to divide by 3600. So in this case, the different values are given in the problem that is petrol consumed per hour so this is per hour basis means this 7.2 kg per hour we can write that's why here is a need to divide by 3600 means water value will come and that will come in kg per second so the answer will be for mass of air is equal to 0 0.03 kg per second so uh, the next step is what again put uh, the value of mass of air in this above equation of mass of air and uh, put the another values and get the unknown. So in this equation, the unknown is delta PA because uh, we have the value of rho A, we have the value of A2, CDA that is coefficient of discharge of air and we just calculated the value of mass of air. So put the calculated values and given values in this uh, equation and uh, Finally, the unknown that is delta PA, we can calculate and that will come 2921.17 Newton per meter square. Please check this value with your own calculator that would come 2921.17 Newton meter Newton per meter square. And this is the value of change in pressure of air that is delta suffix PA. So the next step to solve uh, this problem is what? In this case, the pressure drop is not given. So if we uh, remember the earlier problems, in different problems, the pressure drops are given. But here the pressure drop is not given. So in such kind of a cases, if pressure drop is not given or not mentioned in the problem, that time we have to consider change in pressure of air, that is delta Pa, is equal to change in pressure of fuel, that is delta Pf. So we have calculated the value of uh, delta Pa. So similarly, we can directly consider this delta Pa is equal to delta Pf. Means whatever changes in the pressure, that will be the changes in the fuel as we consider because it is not given, pressure drop is not given or mentioned in the problem. So finally, again, for this case, we can use the formula of mass of fuel that is nothing but coefficient of discharge of fuel into A sub X F in under root of 2 rho F uh, in bracket delta pf minus z into z into rho f okay so put all the values in this case this af that is uh, area of fuel orifice is unknown which we have to calculate the diameter accordingly we can get the answer so mass of fuel we just calculated 0 0.002 put the value cdf is given 0.7 af is unknown put as it is so under root of 2 into density of fuel is given 750 delta pa as we consider that is equal to delta pa so put the value of delta pa so z value is given 0 0.0042 meter z is the standard value that is the gravitational force 9.81 and rho suffix f that is density of fuel that is 750 so put all the values and finally we can write af af means area area is nothing but pi by 4 d of square so put all the values and after simplification, you will get DF is equal to 1.32 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. And after further simplification or the final step, the D suffix F that is diameter of fuel orifice will come 1.32 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So this is the final required answer. Please check with your calculator. So hope you understood the today's session on the carburetor dimensions problem. Thank you so much for watching the video.